Understanding the Santuana Winds by African Vulture You probably never heard of the Santuana Winds, but this video will teach you the importance how the Santuana Winds works and how to prepare for safety during the season. But first, let's discuss about what the Santuana Wind is and where they come from. What is a Santuana Wind? A Santuana Wind is a powerful, dry wind that sweeps up across the Southern California area, typically during the fall and winter seasons. It can go up from 40 to 70 miles per hour. This here, on the map, is the state of California. The Santuana Winds originally come from the Great Basin. A high-pressure area located in the inland deserts of the western United States. The air is pushed westward towards the low-pressure coastal areas of California, creating the fast-moving winds of what we call, the Santuana Winds. Why are they are called, the Santuana Winds? There are two theories. First, it's named after the Santuana Canyons, where the winds start to intensify. Second, it's a Spanish word, Santanas, which means, Devil's Winds, which reflects on its destructive nature. Now we know what a Santuana wind is and where they come from, let's go on to the main point of how they really work to help the wildfires to spread rapidly and widely. The Santuana winds begin with a high-pressure system over the Great Basin in the inland western United States. It creates a pressure between the deserts and the low pressure of coastal areas of Southern California. As the air travels downhill through the mountains and canyons, it is compressed. This compression causes the air to heat up, a process known as the adiabatic heating. The winds get hotter and drier by the time they reach the coastal areas. The winds pick up speed through the canyons and mountains, which accelerate the speed. This is where the winds become stronger and more powerful with gusts. As the winds descend from the mountains and canyons, they lose moisture which drops humidity to dangerously low levels. This drying effect makes plants and vegetation to become brittle and highly flammable, creating a perfect condition to start wildfires to ignite and spread. This is how it happened just like we had in Los Angeles with the most devastating wildfires in January of 2025. Unfortunately, the Santuana winds and wildfires are devastating but they're just part of Mother Nature and there's nothing we can to control the winds. But what we can do is to keep ourselves safe and show our support during the peak wildfire season. But first, let's start off with the safety stuff. Stay informed about the weather updates and wind advisories, using trusted sources like National Weather Service, weather apps and local news. Keep dry vegetations around your home to create a defensible space. Install ember-resistant vents and fireproof roofing to reduce risks of fire spreading to your home. If you have to drive during strong winds, hold the steering wheel firmly and watch out for debris and fallen power lines. Have an emergency kit ready with essentials like water bottles, non-perishable foods, flashlights, and important documents. Avoid outdoor activities that could accidentally cause a fire, like using power tools or barbecues, during high wind advisories. Create an evacuation route plan for your family and multiple routes out your area. Have a go bag packed with clothes, medications, and other needs in case you need to leave quickly. Don't wait for the mandatory evacuation order if you feel unsafe, leave early to stay ahead of danger. Mm -hmm. 
showing support to others who are in crisis is another way you can do during the peak of wildfire season. It shows how much you care. Making donations and money to the trusted organizations like the Red Cross and other disaster relief funds can provide immediate assistance to families in need. Contributing goods, such as foods, clothes, water bottles and hygiene products to local shelters can help victims who have lost their homes. Volunteer in local groups to help out with cleaning up the debris and rebuilding homes. Spread awareness on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and share the information about how others can help out. Teach your friends and families about the importance and safety of wildfires. In this video, we've learned about the Santuana winds where they come from and the role they play in spreading wildfires. We also covered how to stay safe, be prepared and support those who are affected by the wildfire crisis. While we can't control these natural forces, we can take action by protecting ourselves, raising awareness and helping our communities to recover. Together, we can make a difference and show that even in difficult times, Compassion and preparedness can go a long way. Thank you for watching this video. And please consider sharing this video to help spread awareness about the importance of safety and support during the peak wildfire season.